Welcome to the Maths Made Easy tutorial on simultaneous equations. This is the second video on the topic, so we're looking at nonlinear simultaneous equations here. Uh, in the first video, we looked at linear simultaneous equations. So in this example, we have to solve the equations x squared plus 2y equals 9 and y minus x equals 3. So let's rewrite them as the first thing we're going to do. x squared plus 2y equals 9 and y minus x equals 3. Now, because this is a nonlinear equation, we can't use the method that we used in the first video, which was elimination. Instead, we're going to have to substitute uh, the, the linear equation into the nonlinear equation and work out the values of x. So uh, this is going to give us two solutions as it's quadratic. But first, we're going to have to rearrange this uh, to make y the subject. So we're going to get y equals x plus 3. So all we've done is rearrange this equation here. And now we're going to substitute this. We'll call this equation 2 and this one equation 1. We're going to substitute 2 into 1. So we're going to be left with x squared plus 2 times y. So 2 times x plus 3 equals 9. So this is going to give us x squared plus 2x plus 6 equals 9. Now we can rearrange this to get x squared plus 2x uh, plus, oh sorry, minus 3. And that's going to be equal to 0. So now we can solve this quadratic by factorizing. So we're going to have x plus 3 and x minus 1 as our values inside the double brackets. And that's going to be equal to 0. Now if you're not sure on factorizing quadratics and solving quadratics through factorizing, we've got separate videos on all of these topics. Uh, but here, this is going to give us two solutions for x. So our first solution is going to be x equals minus 3. So if this bracket here is equal to 0, then x has to equal minus 3. And then the other solution is going to be x equals 1. So that's if the other bracket is equal to 0. So this gives us our two solutions for x. Uh, now we need to find our corresponding solutions for y. So when x equals 3, y equals x plus 3. So y equals 0. So one of our solutions is uh, x equals minus 3 and y equals 0. And then the other solution will be when x equals 1. So y is x plus 3. So y equals 4. So our two solutions to these equations then are x equals minus 3 and y equals 0. Or x equals 1 and y equals 4. If you're feeling strong on simultaneous equations, then why not take our online exam? This is available through our revision platform. If you take the test, you'll find loads of different questions to have a go at all of which you'll receive instant feedback on, allowing you to keep track of where you're going wrong and how you can improve in time for your actual exam. So if this is something you're interested in, then you can click the link below and it will take you straight over there.